Well, hello gamers, I'm Martuari and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. And today we will be doing something special. I wanted to uh, check a few things out. We all know by now that you have uh, different types of uh, tools in the game. Let me show you. Uh, I have stone pick, I have iron pick and I have the, the tier 3 which is the steel pick. And today I wanted to have a look uh, at uh, the difference between the three. Okay, all three are used for the same thing. But uh, all three get different amounts of materials from stuff. And that's something I wanted to show you today and check out uh, how big the difference is. So let us find a rock to start with. Uh, let's pick this big rock here. Uh, I'm going to be hitting it with the stone pick. There, I got 30 stone. Let's try with the iron pick. I got... 70 stone plus 10 uh, iron. Let's now do the same thing with the steel pick. 110 stone. So yeah, there is a big difference between the stone one, the iron one and the steel one. Uh, let me try again with this iron one, 60 stone. Okay, let's find another rock. 60 to 70 stone. And with the steel one, it's like 110. So yeah, almost, almost double. Uh, same thing from the stone one to the, uh, how is it called, the iron one. It's almost double. So I'm going to be putting this stuff uh, into the crafting benches. And then we can try the different tools on trees to see what the difference is there. Um, I'm going to be putting the stone in here, cook some bricks. There you go. And put this one in here to maybe get some more uh, iron going. Okay, next up, go hit some trees with uh, the pickaxe. We will be starting with the uh, stone one, of course, to see how much we get from that. Uh, let's pick a big tree. This one here. Up, whack at it. I got 10 bark and 10 uh, wood. Use the iron one. Yep, I got 30 wood and again 10 bark. Let's use the steel one. I get 50 wood. So let's try again. 10 wood using the uh, stone one. I think 30 wood for the iron one. And yeah, 60 or even more. Yeah, 50 from the uh, steel one. So it's almost double every time, or three times almost, uh, I have to say. Of course, the bark, the bark is a little bit random. Let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting this big tree here. And I will be getting more bark from it once I get bark. Uh, you see 40 bark in one go, which is quite nice. Uh, the difference, well, it's hard to show you, but uh, I think I get sometimes 10 bark. Yeah, 10 bark using the stone one. And the iron one gives me, I think, 20 bark. Yes, 20 bark. So you see there is a, a difference in the, the different tiers of materials. And uh, yeah, we will check the same thing out with the axes next. So I'm going to be putting all the stuff back into my uh, crafting benches. And then we will go out and check out, uh, yeah, using the axes on the trees and maybe on the stone as well. Mm. Actually, I don't really need all the wood anymore. Although I have, yeah, I can use the bark in this one. And probably the bark in this one to make some more um, hide and the tar as well. Okay, I will be putting... No, I won't be putting because I will be using them later on again. Let me drag uh, these onto my hotbar. The iron one in slot 3, the stone one in slot 2 and the steel one in slot 5. I'm going to be dropping off the wood just in case. Uh, yeah, I need some room anyway. The wood can go in here. Shouldn't be a problem at all. There you go. Next up, let's go hit some trees with our axes and see what the difference is there. I think it will probably be the same. Uh, double the materials, close to three times the materials with each with each uh, tier difference. Uh, let me try to find a nice tree. Mm, yeah, let's pick this one. So, the stone hatchet. You see, 30 wood, 10 branches. I think the iron one will get you 60 wood to 70 wood. 
Yeah, 60 wood and 30 branches, and now the steel one gets you 110 wood and 40 branches. So you see, it's a, again a similar approach. Each new tier of materials, well, each new uh, tier of, of tools gives you double to three times the amount of uh, materials gathered. Let's try it on the rocks. Uh, one hit gets me 20 rock. One hit with the iron one gets me 30 rock. I think I got lucky on the first hit. And with the steel one gets me 50 rock. Let's try again with the wooden one. Normally I should get 10. Oh, I get 20, yeah. 20. 30. And 50. Yeah, I thought it, there were two stones here, so that's probably why. Let, let's try again. The stone hatchets on uh, stone gets you 10 stone. The iron hatchet gets you 30 stone. And the steel one gets you 50 stone. Uh, you have to remember that uh, this is uh, our private server, so we have increased gathering rates on this server. But I think even on the official servers, it will be a similar uh, difference. So, yeah, the difference between the stone and iron one is uh, times two times three most of the time. And the difference between the uh, iron one and the steel ones is, well, times two and a half times three. It should be approximately the same on the official servers. Next thing we can try is head into the mountains and try to find ourselves some iron stone uh, or iron ore and see how uh, how our uh, tools react to those. Yeah, I have plenty of stuff cooking. Do I have something in here cooking? Yes, I have plenty of stuff cooking in here. Let's put some more wood in there. Meanwhile, this will generate some steel fire for me, which is always handy to get there. Mm. Yes, I guess it's off to the mountains. Try to find ourselves some coal and some uh, some iron to uh, gather. And uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, once I'm up there. And then we can uh, check out the difference between the different tiers of uh, tools on the iron stone and the coal. Okay, meanwhile, I'm approaching the area where we uh, collect our uh, metal or iron let me show you on the map uh, normally this area here is full of iron uh, nodes so you should find plenty of iron up here you should even if you go a little bit further this area here should um, yeah there are some coal spawns up there so we will be checking those out as well let's first try with the stone hatchet hit it of course you get stone hit it with the iron one yeah, you get some iron stone, 30 iron stone, and with the metal, uh, the steel one, uh, I get stone. So yeah, it's not a good idea to use hatchets on these in order to get, um, what should I say, the iron stone out of it. Let me grab my steel things, this is the iron one, and this is the steel one. Okay, let's have a look at the stone pickaxe, hit it. I get 10 iron stone. Try again. 20 iron stone. So 10 to 20. Let's try on this one with the iron one. Hit it. I get... Ah, crap. 70 iron stone. Yeah, 60 to 70. Let's try with the steel. Gets me 100. 100. See, it's again the same approach. Every new tier of materials gives you two and a half to three times the amount of uh, uh, materials you would get with the previous tier of tools. Well, night is falling, so I will be uh, waiting that out and uh, then I will be heading it up a little bit further and we can check out the difference on the coal nodes. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, you can find some coal nodes in this white area here. And I have arrived at one of the coal nodes, so let's hit it with our stone pickaxe. You see, 30 coal. Let's hit it with the iron one, which will give me 60 to 70, I think. Ah, it gives me stone sometimes too. Down. 60 coal, okay. And the steel one gives me 110. I've also noticed that uh, every new tier of tools gives you less stone when you hit uh, them, uh, these uh, iron stone and coal blocks. 
The chances of getting stone are lower, I think. I will be dropping the stone, otherwise I can't move at all. And I would love to bring the iron stone back home. Okay, so yeah, uh, the conclusion is, well, every new tier of tools is quite interesting. Of course, you need more materials to craft them. You see plenty of, of uh, coal up here. Of course, you need more materials to craft them and more expensive materials to craft them. But if you get more uh, materials out of your harvesting things, then it might be worth it after all. Okay, I have to pay attention uh, because there were a lot of hyenas earlier in this area and they are all gone now. So, hmm, strange. Okay, I'll be jumping down the cliff here, heading back to my base and uh, putting all the stuff into the corresponding uh, crafting stations. But yeah, a conclusion for today is, uh, yeah, the stone uh, level of tools is quite basic, gives you uh, the least amount of materials. Once you upgrade to the iron level of uh, tools, then you get uh, two and a half times to three times the amount of materials from harvesting as you would get using the uh, stone ones. And if you upgrade to the uh, steel version of the tools, then you will even get two and a half to three times the amount of materials from harvesting compared to using the uh, iron version of the tools. Okay, if you want to compare the results of the different tiers of the crafting tools, well, the gathering tools, then it might also be interesting to check uh, what the cost is of making those tools. The pickaxe you can make from the stone one, you can pay, make, make from your inventory. So that's five branches, five stone, pretty easy to get, nothing difficult there. The other pickaxes can be made in the blacksmith ta table. So the iron pickaxe needs indeed five branches, five leather, and 20 iron bars. 20 iron bars. If you have a look at the thingy here, the furnace, you will see that, well, it requires, let me check. I can't see it here. Oh yeah, I will have to put in one of these and one of these. I think it requires two iron stone to make one iron bar. So yeah, if you need 20 iron bars, that means you will need 40 iron stone, which is uh, yeah, a little bit more expensive than uh, getting simply stone and branches. You need five flat or two, which is easy to get. Kill some stuff, get the hide, and use the hide in the tannery to make uh, the leather. Next tier is the steel version of the pickaxe, which is quite similar, five branches, 10 leather, but the tough part here is getting 20 steel bars. And uh, the reason is one steel bar, let me show you. Okay, in order to make the steel, you need the iron bars and you need to combine the iron bars with steel fire. No, uh, you need about, uh, if I have a look here, I have 100 iron bars, I can make 20 steel bars out of that, which means you will need five iron bars in order to make one steel bar. And if you remember that, one iron bar requires two iron stone. Yeah, you can make the calculations. This means you will need two iron, 200 iron stone in order to make the necessary iron bars, which will make the necessary steel bars. But in order to make steel bars, you need to combine your iron bars with steel fire. And steel fire is made into these things here, the cauldrons. It's combining uh, the brimstone with the tar which results into the steel fire and the tar is a byproduct of making leather. Oh, I can show you here because I already took them all, but I should have some more in these tanneries here. You see, it's a byproduct of generating a leather out of a hide. So yeah, getting the steel level of tools requires some work, some gathering, some processing, but in the end, you get a lot of materials from those. So it's quite interesting to do that. Okay, well, I think, uh, I think that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. While you are there, check out the description as well. That's where you will find links to the social media pages and also a link to our Patreon page where you can support us and maybe join us on one of our servers if you pledge a certain amount. In the description, you will also find links to the other crazy folks and the creative misses guys. And yeah, go check those out as well. 
while you're on the YouTube page, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Not only do you help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye. <laughs>